Mr. Stone, I'm sentencing you to Mayberry Fest. I object, Your Honor. Fried chicken. Charlie, please. All right, I'm here with Eric Lowry, who played our judge in the movie, and he also played the mayor of Mayberry. So it's nice to have you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. What was it like playing multiple roles? And I remember last night at the Q&A after the premiere of the movie, you said it was your first time acting in anything like this. Yeah, so it, it Playing did. two roles, that's big. Well, it, it was very interesting. I've done the mayor character uh -huh. uh, as a tribute at Mayberry Festivals uh, since 2009. Okay. I, I'm not nearly as experienced as Alan and some of those guys, but uh -huh. I've been doing it for 11 years. And so that was a little more comfortable. Uh, I'd done that enough times that I sort of felt like I, I knew what I was going to need to do uh -huh. while I was the mayor. Yeah. The judge was a totally different experience. Yeah. And uh, I guess the judge maybe was more like me uh -huh. <laughs> rather yeah. than the mayor. So I, I tried to just channel how I would interpret and, and you know, act uh -huh. in, in yeah. that way if I happened to be the judge. Yeah. The Honorable Judge R.C. Lowry presiding. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Calling the case of the people of the state of Georgia versus Mr. Christopher Stone. Mr. Stone is represented by his attorney, Mr. Aidman. Good morning, Your Honor. I was still really, really nervous yeah. about that. I had just never done anything in front of a camera like that exactly, before. Exactly, yeah. It's a little, being in front, you think acting's easy, and then you get in front of the camera, and it's oh a, my. it becomes a whole different experience. Sit down there, and there's lights here, and lights there, and camera here, and camera yeah. there. People scurrying around exactly. everywhere, you know. It's uh, yeah, it's it's kind of intimidating oh, at, at the first, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So you said you've been playing the mayor at Mayberry Fest for a while now. How long? So since 2009. Right. Was your first experience there kind of like uh, Chris Stones in the movie? How you were there, and it was just a little. What was your experience in the first? Actually, it was really quite different than that. I've been a fan of the Andy Griffith okay. Show most of my life, yeah. and I had been attending festivals as a fan. Uh, since, I, well, at least for 10 years before that. And so I was familiar with the festival atmosphere, loved watching the shows, interacting with the other tribute artists. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would actually become yeah. a tribute artist. Exactly. Hey, hey, if it isn't Mayberry's favorite mayor, hey, Mayor Pike. Hey, I guess somebody wants you to meet. Uh, mayor Pike, Chris Stone, Chris, uh, Mayor Pike. Good morning, Mr. Stone. I'm so glad you're here. You, your honor. Here. Just call me mayor. I had been attending those things, meeting a lot of the tributes, made friends with several of them. Uh -huh. And Bob Mundy and Pat Mundy, Bob played Briscoe for years before he retired. Okay. And his wife said to me one time at dinner, you know, we've never had anybody do a mayor character. Uh -huh. You ought to think about maybe being the mayor. And I, I had never given it any thought before. Yeah. And I said, well, I, you know, they had two mayors, I guess. I, wh what were you thinking I should do? Yeah. And she said, well, I think you could be Mayor Pike. Mm -hmm. And I said, you mean the little short, fat, bald one? <laughs> I mean, wasn't really sure how to think that, but I mean, I guess, you know, you got to go with what you got. Yeah. Are you going to allow that, Andy? Are you going to let him make a picture here and laugh at your little fat mayor? <laughs> So that's how it started, and, and we talked about it for a year, and she kept teasing me, when are you gonna do that? Yeah. And uh, I kept saying, ah, I can't do that. I, I don't do, I can't do what these guys do. Yeah. The next year at Christmas, uh -huh. she gave me a little box, and when I opened it up, it had a string tie in it, like the mayor yeah. wears. Yeah. And she said, all right, now you've got your first piece of wardrobe. Yeah. Now you have got to become the mayor. Yeah. And so that's how it started. Over that winter, I got me an old suit and a hat and all of that. And by the next spring, I went to my first event nice. as the mayor. Wow. So what was it? So you said you never thought you'd even become a trivia artist. Did you ever think you'd play the mayor in a film? As crazy as it was to be asked to even consider being a tribute artist, it blew my mind when... Court and Stark first are the ones yeah. that they came up to me and they said, yeah. you know, we're doing this project. Uh -huh. I'd like for you to, you know, be involved and, and understand. And we want to think, I, we think you can be the judge. Would you Would you consider yeah. doing that? And I'm like, I, you've got to be kidding me, right? Uh -huh. And so they gave me the, the script and the scene there and kind of described it. Yeah. And I loved the story. Uh, you know, I read the whole story. Oh. And man, I was, I was just really struck by the power of the whole thing. 
But man, I've got to, I would love to be a part of that. But I don't know if I can do this, Judge. This is a big thing. This is, you know, right in the beginning of the oh, movie yeah. and all that. So I, I thought about it a little while, you know, I practiced a little bit and I came and tried out. Nice. Um, and the guy said, I, I think you can do that. Uh -huh. And so, again, having never thought it would come together, it, it, it just, it was so exciting to, yeah. I just had to try it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I got to thinking. You know, Mayberry Fest is coming up next month. And as you know, your daddy was in a couple episodes. I don't know what Mayberry Fest is, but can you just set the fine so we can get back to the set? Mayberry Fest. It's a wonderful week of all things Mayberry. Yeah, 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 the TV show, I get it. The fine, please? Uh, there'll be no fine. Excuse me? There'll be no monetary fine. Mr. Stone, I'm sentencing you to Mayberry Fest. So, just uh, one last question. Yeah. What was, out of all the time you spent on set and stuff, what was your favorite behind the scenes or moment on set that we didn't see on screen, but you guys witnessed off screen? What was? Wow. But, you know, there were so many. Um, <laughs> I don't want to give away, you okay. know, too much in the all film, right. but there's a scene where, as I'm the mayor, uh, and I introduce my daughter yeah. to Chris. Uh-huh. And, uh, You'll just have to watch it, but it was so fun seeing Chris's reactions at first yeah. and how he had to you know, do what he had to do as an actor to pull that scene yeah. off. Christy McClendon, who played my daughter, uh -huh. was just terrific. Yeah. And that was, it was hilarious to watch that come together. Yeah, and Chris so really had to kind of, I mean, he had to put his actor hat on exactly. <laughs> and get yeah. through that yeah. scene. Yeah. And that good. was great. If you want to see the scene he's talking about, you got to watch the movie. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good scene. Well, thank you so much, Eric. It hey, it's a pleasure. pleasure talking to you. Thank Watch you. Watch Mayberry Man. Watch Mayberry Man. If you want more videos about The Andy Griffith Show, be sure to hit subscribe and click that little bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching.